Hello everybody, it's me Roscoe and welcome to another edition of Game Day and the big day has arrived as Town take on Leeds in the Championship. It's uh, second versus third, a 10 point gap Town have got over Leeds at the moment. Can they extend it today? We shall wait and see. It should be a very entertaining game, of course live on Sky, the game before Christmas always is entertaining. Let's see how we get on. Um, team news, media scan rating, of course the thoughts of the KO Army to come. Let's get right into it. Okay then, team news has just dropped, but before that we've got some breaking news on game day, and it's a big one. I've decided not to have the media scan, so with no rating, basically I'm very stuffed. I just had breakfast, a very big breakfast indeed. A fry up, a croissant, a muffin, orange juice, all the works, and when I saw the food, I just couldn't stomach it. So I decided no food, it was I think mushy peas and a pie, which looks, looks good. But um, I just can't stomach it later, so sorry about that. No media rating, but that is it. Uh, team news has just dropped though, and there's one change. Axel Twanzavi comes in for Luke Walford, and I think that's a change we're somewhat expecting just to rotate the centre halves. Axel did really well against Watford, and I think he'll do well today. So that is the team news, and no media scan rating. I'm so sorry to let you guys down. Um, I can't believe I just turned down free food, but that is what it is. Let's get right into it. Let's see a town and get another win. Let's do this. Okay then. Um, now, as you can see, I'm with a Wazza and we're currently at a service station as I've just uh, listened back to some of the interviews we did at Eden Road and the microphone has had a mare and uh, there's, so there's no King of the North, he had a great interview. He will be missed. He will be missed. But Wazza's here with me and we're going to discuss that 4 0 defeat, uh, which we've already spoken about it and we probably don't want to speak about it much more, my friend. But yeah, we've picked the bones out of it really in the car, haven't we? Yeah, we have, but let's do but it. Let's where do you want to go? Where do you want to start? It wasn't a great start, was it? It wasn't. I feel like the optimum game plan would have been let's keep Leeds quiet in the open and talk 10, 15, 20 minutes. We did it for seven, and then in the eighth they've scored, so not a brilliant start. And then obviously Ellen Road talk gets going, doesn't it? Intimidating place to go. Um, you know, we know that Leeds fans are very loud, very vocal. Good set of fans, to be fair to. Um, so, yeah, not the ideal start, and I think that's all. Sort of Summed it up really, didn't it? That, that sort of front unit of Leeds, that attacking unit, is, is very good. We saw that at Portland Road. And we've seen it again today, sadly. Yeah, they've got a lot of money on their, uh, their, their squad, um, but they are quality players. Yeah, good players, and, good players. You know, for us today, I think we're just, we didn't really create money chances, did we? But we weren't allowed to try to create chances. Leeds were just on us, weren't they? They were, yeah. Um, but I think the ultimate thing that you've got to come away with is a bit of perspective. Yeah. At the start of the season, if you'd said, Come Christmas Day, we'll be in second, seven points clear of our nearest challengers. Could have all taken, taken that would rip your arm off, wouldn't they? So, um, yeah, bit of perspective. Third loss of the season. If you extend that over the course of, we're at the halfway point now. If we extrapolate that over the course of the next 23 games, we'll have lost six all season. We'd be pretty happy with that, wouldn't we? So, yeah, fair enough. We have the second best side today. Leeds did a number on us. Sometimes you take your medicine, you lick your wounds and go again. And I, I don't think we need to pick, you know, pick the bones out of the squad as a whole. No, you know, no. I think every player <laughs> didn't have a great game today. I don't know who was out there, but probably, you know, Vaz did okay, didn't he? With one of his yeah, saves, yeah, yeah. he went out and they scored from the tap in there. Yeah. Um, you know, a few players maybe weren't out there, normal good sells. So Lee Davis going back to his former club Leeds, you know, yeah, he scores a bit of a yeah. yeah, but. Summed it up, really. Yeah. But, uh, you know, at the same time, that is a team that last season was competing in the Premiership. This time last year, I think I saw on Twitter, I don't know who it was, but I think, yeah, you know, we'd, we, well, this time last year, I think we just lost 1 0 to Wickham, hadn't we? Yeah, yeah. Around this time, and Leeds would have been sitting in the Premier League. So that's a benchmark to look at, you know, if, um, you know, if we go up, that's the sort of, that's, that's the levels. Um, so, you know, we'd, we'd all taken where we are in the table now. And I think you've got a, on days like today, you've got to look at it like that. We get a go again on Tuesday, which is good. Players don't have too long to stew on it. I'm sure they'll be celebrating Christmas anyway. To I think they're, to in, they're in Christmas Day though, training. So oh, well, fair they'll, enough. They'll open all the presents and they'll go training and work half a less done. But the spirits will be high, yeah. I'm sure, with yeah. it being Christmas, regardless of today's result. And I get the impression that McKenna's the kind of manager who, he's not going to dwell on this. He's going to actually use it as a bit of a platform to learn from. Sure, he'll, he'll look at that sort of performance from Leeds and look at how well they did pin us back and go what you know what aspects of that sort of high press and, and that can we learn from so 
I'm sure it's not all doom and gloom on, on that team coach tonight. No, no. And um, level-headed fan, was, uh, what's your thoughts and your, your message to the town fans who are maybe a bit frustrated about today? You know, as I said, perspective is the key word, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's yeah. important, though, to, to sort of be annoyed because it shows the level that we've come to expect of this team. You know, if we didn't have expectations and sort of a real sort of opinion that we could mix it with the likes of Leeds, Leicester, Southampton, then we'd all probably go and wow, we're going to lose it anyway. But it shows, it's a testament to how good this team has been sort of the last 18 months that we are sort of annoyed and you know bad games happen bad games happen we've had today was a stinker maybe you'd say West Brom's a stinker that's two over the course of 23 games that's, I mean I, you never want to say it but it's all right you know? yeah, it is. and my hot take of course was scoring every game obviously that got stopped at West Brom it's now two games now this season without scoring but this team yeah, normally do score. And, but, yeah. and um, I could be wrong, but off, off the back of that West Brom game, I think we sort of strung a couple of results together, didn't we? So you never know. Maybe McKenna will, uh, you know, get something, get a tune on Boxing Day, get some, get some Christmas cheer back into, back into everyone. But I think the main thing is, like you say, we're we're in a great position. We're going to strengthen in January. We've got owners who we know will back back the manager. We know that McKenna has probably done his homework already, and he's probably got. A whiteboard up in Portman Road, Playford Road, somewhere with with who he wants to get. So we will strengthen. We will go again, and we've just got to keep keep that momentum going. We can't let this derail us. I don't think we will. No, I don't think our squad is that way. Seven points still. Seven points is, is still big. So I don't think this will derail us. But yeah, take the disappointment today. Go again on Tuesday, and I'll hopefully bounce back. Yeah, we go again, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you've enjoyed this different game day experience um, sadly yeah the microphone decided to have a mess so I'm going to have some telling off and maybe getting a new mic <laughs> that, maybe that's hopefully what I'll get for, for my Christmas present probably too late now to get delivered but um, mm. but there we go well was a have a good Christmas my friend you thanks too. for joining me we're now going to head back to wish everyone a happy something. Christmas yes of course Merry Christmas to everybody hope you have a good one uh, hopefully you got what you wish for and um, of course we'll be back for game day at Leicester and um, hopefully we can get back to winning ways but uh, yeah enjoy the rest of your day Bye for now. Uptown.